Listening to the Costa Show. Today is Friday, the 20th day of um, August 2020. Uh, 28th August is a very remarkable day in history. It's good to be here. This uh, Friday. Mm. What's going on, Bogai? Yeah, it's so cloudy here. Can, can you hear me, Bogai? What's going on? Yeah. No, I mean, the way you jumped in, I thought you, you were not hearing me. I thought that's why you just jumped in. Okay, but you, but, you oh, can, yeah. but you can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, now I'm getting you. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Let me uh, let me finish making this point. Uh, so, uh, the 20th of August is a very historic uh, day. It was on this day in 1963 that Dr. King delivered what would go down in history as the greatest speech in the civil rights struggle, August 28, 1963. Uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, from the stairs of the Lincoln Memorial um, in the National Mall, 250,000 Americans uh, from all races and religious backgrounds assembled in Washington. And Dr. King delivered his greatest speech, I Have a Dream. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was 15 years old, I memorized that speech. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that was a very powerful speech. I, I remember that day. I remember, well, not that I was born, but I remember that day in history. And today, and that day is on the same day that Fidel Saidi was born, uh, our former co host and uh, former station manager of Roots FM. So Fidel celebrates. His birthday on August 28th. I want to say happy, happy birthday to you, Fidel, as you celebrate on a very historic day. And of course, one year later in 1964, President Linda B. Johnson would sign the Civil Rights Act, uh, which was the most important uh, legislative, the most important thing that the U.S. government did in that period in civil rights struggle in 1964. It was July, I believe it was July 24th or July 22nd, one of one of those days, but I do recall very well Linda Johnson signed that Zivers Act of 1964. Mm -hmm. It was very important. It, it brought uh, relief and desegregation to a lot of. Uh, it brought an end basically to segregation in this in the South of, of the United States, and also Henry Flomo celebrates his birthday on the same day. Henry Flomo is the chairman of the Friends of Henry Costa Liberia. Henry, I say. Happy, happy birthday to you as you celebrate your birthday on the same day uh, as Fidel Dolls. And if every one of you, everyone who celebrates today, everyone who has a reason to be alive. And, you, you know, once you are alive today is, is a reason to celebrate, is a, re is, a re is a reason. But each and every one of, one of you, you, you should be happy, you should be proud, you should be thankful to God 
for just being alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what it is. Very, very important. Very, very important. And so we're very glad to be alive today. We're very glad to be here. Now, my favorite song right now, my favorite li Liberian song right now, is that song, Baka? The one, the one uh, George was playing. Bang, bang, me. Bang, bang, me. Oh, my man, I love that song. And I got exposed. Well, I, I had been listening to the song before I went to Minnesota. But then when I went to Minnesota, for some reason, that's when it really dawned on me how much I really liked the lyrics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The naked way she bang bang me. Baga, you don't you don't like that song? Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's a nice track. I love it. It's a very nice, 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 nice track. So that's the song we'll play. That the birthday song we're dedicating to Fidel Sadie and to Henry Flomo. I don't know who bang bang that, eh? But I think it has it has anybody bang bang Fidel? You think, Baga? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but let me ask you the question. Has anybody bang bang you? Any kind of Juna bang 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 you? And and nobody asked me that question. And you are not allowed to ask me that question either. What you what you not bang bang me? But if you leave that bang bang, I was. Oh, but then but then the bang bang now why? Because if you bang bang you and the bang bang now why? Well, for the two to three years. Huh? Damn it. Okay, so she bang bang you, but the bang bang now why? No more. No, 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 it won't get you. Okay, all right, all right, I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Who was in the live video here? I'm not talking about Juna Pamba now. Explain. <laughs> the nigga was the Pamba me, oh, yeah. But I drop that song a little bit. Today, today Friday, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Then we'll go to George Weir, our resident comedian, George Manor Weir. You know, yesterday they met produce a new uh, episode. You listen to it, Baga? I listen to it, yeah. You got the full clip because we're gonna we're gonna play this this morning. All right, so I want to say shout out to all of you, wonderful wonderful people. Uh, our B sister Frances Powell from uh, COP Europe, uh, my dear mother Margaret A. Mapu Dyson, uh, Ente Vida Duno, and uh, Gustin Blackie, and Zelma Moray, and. Daniel Rogers and Muna Koti and Charles J.S. Young and just every one of you watching this morning, shout out to you. And let's drop that song for you. Has anybody punk my you? Now, if you don't know what punk my me, then I mean you better like you're too long. <laughs> that is for those of you in the diaspora. Well, punk my punk my me when the do not tie you, my man. You know, you in you, 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 you not go local. You, yeah, you don't even to your say again. Yeah, that what my man means. So let's drop the song again, boy guy. Somebody say Joey a punk man like you. Hey, you know, you know, he punk man city shit. Hey, I beg you, Joey a not punk man. Oh no, oh, there are some people that punk man. Yeah. All right, let let's drop it, let's drop it, let's drop it. Where you go? What are, what's going on there, Baga? Okay. On the left, the studio. Baga? All right, yeah, take it, take it out a little bit, folks. I just want to do this as a listening treat for all of our wonderful uh, friends and brothers and sisters. Uh, Sister Anna Hart, a shout out, shout out to you. Thanks for your service. Uh, Sister Winifred John, John Thompson, uh, Sister Musu, Sister Hawa West, and to all. All of you, all, all of you, wonderful, wonderful people. This song, and uh, my man Eddie P. Miller, you like this song? Bang bang, yeah, drop it again, bro. I drop it again. We'll finish this song, then we'll move on. We got tons of interesting things here, as, as I said. A fresh comedy episode, thanks to George Weir. Yesterday, the man has entertained us, produced more, more. Yeah, the man, oh, the boy is prolific, he can, he can produce. So let's drop this song and then of course we'll go back, uh, we, we will go to our serious discussion here this morning. So shout out to all of your wonderful, wonderful people uh, and, and I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Folks, mm -hmm. you're listening, you're listening to the Costa Show. Shout out to Brother Mike Fire David all the way there in Juba, South Sudan. And shout out to each and every one of you on the live feed. I want to say shout out to uh, my COP folks, all of you wonderful Liberians who care about Liberia, my heart goes out to you. And those of you who join we are not punk man, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you, but we buy Liberia punk man us. You know, we love Liberia and we care about Liberia. So that's why 
Joe, we are getting back back on the road. They ain't getting back back, you know, you know, but not us. Yeah, not us. All right. So let's go to yesterday. What happened? First of all, folks, I received information yesterday. Now, I, it is yet to be substantiated, so I'm going to say it is uh, reported. And uh, it, it is reported. And uh, perhaps uh, when I put it out this morning, we're going to be able to confirm it today. It has been brought to my attention that uh, Kesley Moba, the notorious armed robber who uh, a fortnight ago, that would be two weeks ago, uh, ran, drove his car into a security guard, killed him instantly in his attempt to arm rob in uh, some somewhere there in, in town. Some people say it was actually in uh, in the Bartnersville area. Some people say it was here, I mean, it was Dupont Row, but he killed the uh, security guard called Kapao Kapao. That, that was the guy's name. He killed him instantly. So Kesley Moba was shot in the leg by PSU officers who engaged him in an attempt to capture him. And of course, they did succeed in capturing him. He was captured, taken to JFK, uh, initially to uh, the, um, uh, the, the police headquarters, where, of course, we had pictures of him lying on the ground in handcuffs. And uh, you could see his uh, bleeding leg that had been shot by the, by the police. And so then they took him to JFK, where he was being treated for his wounds. And uh, it has come to my attention, as I said, it is yet to be substantiated, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't on, on, on the face of it, uh, dispute it, that Kesley Moba has run away. Mm -hmm. Yes, I say, <laughs> I got this information yesterday, that Kesley Moba, Jefferson Koji's, um, Jefferson Koji's guy, uh, his, his, his henchman who does his uh, clandestine operations, kidnapping, torture, murder, raping, all that kind of stuff. Also, who plays a dual role. Uh, his real passion is armed robbery. You know, uh, the Koji thing is just a side hustle. <laughs> Listen, man, Kesley the moment must be a terrible, nasty human, 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 human being. As if as if armed robbery is not enough for Kesley Moba. The other, the, his real passion, his real passion is armed robbery. So even though he does the other work for Koji, the kidnapping, the torture, and then if necessary, the murder, but his real passion is armed robbery. So this boy does two work. You know, he has two professions, uh, but they are quite interrelated. So he does the armed robbery, which he's been doing for very, for very many years. Then he also does the um, the work for for Koji, the kidnapping, the murder, the rape, and all that, all that kind of stuff. So Kesley Moba, it has come to my attention, has escaped JFK, of course. Now, would you be surprised? No, you wouldn't be surprised. You remember we told you, on the day Kesley Moba was taken in by the Liberian National Police, he was dead, lying on the ground, bleeding, handcuffed, uh, and those pictures of him we posted, very graphic. Very grotesque, the Englishman would say. We told you Koji had been making calls, frantic calls, to try to get him released. He and Sam Sion. Well, they were unsuccessful, apparently, because too many things had been said. It, it was outed. They couldn't just get him out, out, of, out of there. So Kesley was moved to the JFK for treatment. Of course. Now, that would be the humane thing to do to a most uh, terrible, nasty human being. Of course, I mean, still, you got to be humane, you know, just because he killed someone doesn't mean when you catch him and he's, he needs medical attention, you wouldn't give it to him. That is what you would do. But so we found out that Kesley has been facilitated to escape. Now, Blocker, who do you think might have facilitated his escape from JFK? Exactly. Exactly. The same very good. Blocker, you've gotten some little. Did you move away from the mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better, yeah. Don't go away from the mic. So, yes. So, Koji was trying to get him released when he was immediately, when he was arrested. The moment it it, it came to Koji's attention that Kesley Moba had been arrested for killing a man in his attempt to commit armed robbery, Koji and Sam Sian began to call. In fact, Sam Sian made his way to the police headquarters and tried to secure this guy's release. But that didn't happen. They're talking to JFK. We made a lot of noise about it. Boop. Now we're told 
Kesele Moba has run away. Folks, where do you think Kesele could have, could have gone? Kesele is only walking around. The police will not rearrest him. That's what they're going to do. Okay? They, they're going to pretend that he's, he's, uh, he's at large and cannot be located. And so then they're going to let him be on the... On the he's he's going to be out there at large. You know what I mean? The moment he has escaped, they're not going to rearrest him. Because you as a private citizen cannot re cannot arrest him. So it is only the, 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 the police that can arrest him. So they're not going to arrest him. That is the strategy. Then the next thing you know, Kesele Mawa would be back in business. Committing armed robbery, which is a real passion, killing people if and when necessary as he deems fit. And what, what else does he do? His side hustle is kidnapping, gang raping, murder, torture. <laughs> the boy not easy. That boy man must be regretting. Eh? Boy, the, the, the area of specialization. The main area of specialization is armed robbery. A real era. Then his side hustle is kidnapping, murder, gang rape, torture. What? That boy, Kesele Moba, is a hell of a human being. Somebody say, remember what Nima you will see. Oh, Nima Pai, they can play for now. What? Because ain't what they can do. Ain't what they can do in Nima Baga. Mm -hmm. When they grab you, you know what they can do. So that's true, big brother uh, Charles Meyer. Shout out to you. Shout out to Mrs. Margaret Meyer as well. That man didn't run away. Guess the mother didn't run away. They facilitated his escape. He did not run away. And these are the animals that we are dealing with. You have a Jefferson Koji who has in his employ a terrible, sleazy human being like Kesley Moba, a notorious armed robber and murderer. And then they say he ran away. He didn't run or run, run away. They, they enable him run away. Exactly. <laughs> That's what they did. But we're watching. Now, there was an interesting post yesterday made by Lee Mango, my own dear fellow sister. Please, sister, mm. good morning. Mm. Good, good morning now. Isha, eh? Isha, boy, mama. I read your post yesterday, so I'm telling her thank you. And I'm telling her good morning, Lee Mango. So, my own sister, Lee Mango, good morning to you. I hope you're doing great. I read Lima's post yesterday to her former employee. Now, many of you may not know that Piso Ta, the Minister of Gender, used to work for Lima Bowie. Yeah. Piso Ta was chief of staff to Lima Bowie for many, many years. Oh, yeah. In fact, up until the time George Weah became president, Piso Ta was in Lima's employ. Many of you did not know that. So Lima Bowie knows Piso Ta very, very well. So yesterday, Lima Bowie did his post. Oh, Lima Bowie suck it to her former employee. Let's read his post. I woke up this morning to news of the government of Liberia clamping down on a peaceful protest organized by young people against the pervasive rape culture in Liberia. This is sick, appalling, and a big shame on the we are led administration. To tear gas and use violence on peaceful on a peaceful gathering led by women against a pandemic is beyond unimaginable. I call out Minister Piso Sedi Ta. Shame on you! Your job demands that you protect the most vulnerable population of Liberia, but you have chosen to align with your political godfather. Hmm. Minister Ta, who plays politics with the tearing of a three-year-old vag vagina, to say I am mad would be putting it mildly. I am angry, infuriated, boiling inside. If you had done your job void of politics, we wouldn't be where we find ourselves. Sad, sad, sad. This is a post made yesterday by Lima Bowie, very understandably, visibly, obviously, disappointed in her former employee, former chief of staff. Piso Sedita. Now, Piso I mean, Lima Bowie read it all. She read it all. I remember uh, a couple of years ago when Lima Bowie ran the Lima Bowie Peace Foundation. Well, she, she still does run it today. Piso was actually the one who basically coordinated everything. I mean, I went to their office before I was invited by Lima Bowie and, uh, uh, well, me and a few others. And and Piso was there. She coordinated everything and I did some. Um, so public relations for their work for their office before and Piso that's how I knew Piso were working for Lima Bowie so Lima Bowie knows Piso very very well 
And and that post of hers yes yesterday was very, 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 very it was it was profound. It was very, very touching. And that uh, she hit her hard. She hit her really, really hard. So yesterday, George Manawi, the president of the republic, spoke to uh EOBC, Ledger Urene, in a pre-recorded session. Of course, he didn't do a live session, it was pre-recorded. Apparently, he had Ledger Urene go over to his house where of course he's been enjoying himself and he was sitting there watching the protest. He said it. He said he was watching it. Okay? Mm -hmm. The president said he yesterday he spent much of his time watching on social media as the protest happened. Now, a couple of things you said. Now, I hope you have cued that tip. You're going to play with it, okay? And please be attentive because when I say stop, you stop because I would like to analyze and then we'll move forward and so on and so forth. That's how we're going to do it. So, George has said yesterday in that interview with Ledger Urene, which was pre-recorded and played later, that he watched the entire thing. He said it. So, this man was watching. And here's the interesting part. He said, look, the guy is not a leader. In fact, I believe what really made him speak was when Ellen came out yesterday. Now, Ellen Johnson Saleem is an, an attention-seeking, narcissistic woman. Everything that we, every opportunity, every given opportunity that presents itself for her to show her face and look like a good person, Ellen would jump on it. That is exactly what Ellen does. So yesterday, Ellen realized she sat by. She realized that George Vier wasn't going to come out. Mm -hmm. So what did Ellen do? Ellen said, "Well, I'm going to go steal a, uh, I'm going to go steal a show." That's what Ellen did. Ellen got out, went out there, boop, and boop, she made it about her. That's what she does. The old lady would never leave her narcissistic self behind. That's what she is. So when George Vier realized that, apparently then George Vier called Ledger Urene. Come on, let's do a pre-recorded session. Ledger Urene went there. And we have the recording we're going to play. But here's what George Vier said. So he sat home for much of the day as the episode went down. The brutality meted out against peaceful protesters, mostly young female. George Vier watched it as his police tear gassed, beat up, dragged, hurt, maimed, physically assaulted. I mean, he watched it all. But I, yeah. He watched it all. And then he had the audacity to say that the police did a great job. Even, even though some people there didn't go who intention. He, you, you could hear the men trying very hard to make it sound like the protesters were political people. Yeah. They were members of political parties and therefore they were not sincere protesters. I mean, this guy is such an idiot. Idiot beyond redemption. He tried to make it seem like, oh, you, you think all the people that are good protesters? No. Some of them were political people. That's what he tried to say. That the reason the police did, in fact, God justified the police brutality yesterday. He said the reason why the police had to do what they, what they did, it was because, he even put him off on the, on the Americans, why they had to go to the American embassy and blah, blah, blah. And what, so what, what they go reporting to the American for? I mean, the guy is sick and damn stupid. The guy said yesterday that he saw what the police did to people. Let him already said, look, Mr. Mr. President, you're police. And the way the, the way the man handle people. Let you already raise that. The way the man handle people. And Joby said, oh, uh, Leggy, you know, Renny, uh, you got to see it away. And you know, there were some people there who wanted to make trouble. And the police, I think the police did a good job. And, but if some people were hurt, if, if some people were treated badly, uh, you know, I think the police should not do it again. This man admitted that he washed it all. He washed as his police beat up tear gas, mostly young children. I mean, young people, young women, mostly. The protests predominantly were young women. And he watched it all. These are people who aren't even political. These are people who are not members of the political party. But his issue was, because some people were there, they were political people, they were opposition people. I mean, this guy is sick. Who told you? Who told you only non-partisan people should attend political, I mean, should attend rallies for such things as rape and stuff. Who told you that? So when you see opposition person in the rally, then I'm in the rally, not correct. But but I played that clip. Look, this guy is sick. He is so sick. In the beginning of the interview, you hear him talk about, I don't think that's a full clip. The one you have, how long is it? The one I have is about six minutes and, 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 and something seconds. How, how long is the one you have, Bakai? Mm, let me see. It's about... The same, same thing. Okay, fine. Maybe that's the same version that you have. So you're going to play that one. But just before you do play that one, here's what we're going to do. 
I just wanted to say, this guy spent his time yesterday watching as people were beaten. He spent his time seeing it all. He could have picked up the phone and called the police. Stop chasing the people. Stop beating them down. Stop tear gassing them. No, he did not. Can you imagine? He said it himself. I watched it. But some of the people there, let it who, they were not correct. They came to make trouble. They or in it. He he nearly said they are opposition people. What guy? The man nearly said they are opposition people. Therefore, well, whichever way they are treated. But guy, somebody just sent me the full clip. It's actually longer than that. Yeah, I have the full clip. Then you can play for your end. Uh, I can play for my end? Yeah. My man, you got a better system there than me. Play for an You got a studio here. I got a studio here, but I don't. My, my studio is not configured uh, in the manner in which uh, I can. Like, yeah, so you got it. Yeah. All right. So go to it and let's start playing it. 15 minutes long. So that, that, this guy is sick. He's really, really sick. And then he went on to say, to talk about Ellen. Ellen going there. He said, ah, 2017, you know, legend who we rape was an issue then. We talked about rape in 2017. This guy is an idiot. 2017, you were not president of the country. He's trying to say, all you were trying to say was, uh, Ellen trying to, he didn't like the fact that Ellen went there. Yeah, he didn't like that fact. It embarrassed him. Now, Ellen Johnson said, going there. We all know why she went there. She went there because George Weir is an idiot and he was not taking advantage of the opportunity to go and pacify these protesters. So Ellen said, well, I'm going to go steal the show. And so I'm not giving her any props for going there because she went there for, for herself, which is what she does. Everything is about Ellen and it's not about anybody else. She never does anything altruistically. It's all about herself. So John mm -hmm. yeah, didn't like the fact that Ellen went there, black guy. So what does he say? In 2017, I spoke against Brit when she was president. And yeah, that what that what we did, and we're talking about it. And so it's a national issue. It's, it's not my personal personal problem. Or the or the or the huh? They damn Billy Good. Or the or the it's a national issue. Twenty seventeen when she was president. Twenty seventeen when she was president, you spoke about it. He's trying to say Ellie Monaco Ali that her one that that nice to see Rip and Rip been around long time and, and how she want to talk about oh and she go there now yeah nothing wrong yeah she went there yeah but so and and I said rep, rep, representation too and I gotta go there what this is how a leader speaks my people hmm this is how a leader speaks and yeah but and when she was president and I talk too and I talk and. The times you are president. Uh, 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 Costa, the issue about he selling a uh, uh, piece of time, piece of time sits at the measure of gender, doing nothing, absolutely nothing, and cases are increasing every day. How can the protesters know that he was the one that said piece of time, even if he knew that the people were already angry at piece of time? Yeah. So no went on air or any other such thing to say, oh, I'll be selling my general minister for the petition. Precisely. You never hear anything about it. But you just say, oh, I sent the uh, general minister. How should the protesters know that you don't want to send the general minister? Yeah. But listen to the joke. So, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. And when Ali was president, eh, I talked about rape too. Eh. So I talked about rape. Rape was a major problem. The time she was president. So the general rape started. Rape that. In fact, he said, they're not sort of come to me. They sort of go to the legislature. And the people sort of go to the houses of the legislature. Who's doing the guy houses? There's one house. The house of representative. The senate is not a house. You stupid fool. You damn fool. The senate is not a house. It's just the Liberian senate. It's not the house of senate. It is wrong. And, and what are they coming to me for? This is the president speaking. He said, why, why are they going to him? Why are they going to him? They must go to the lawmakers. So the lawmakers go, there are already tough laws on rape. Tough laws. There's already a court established for rape. Criminal code E. All you need to do is to be swifter or swift. All you need to do is to build safe houses for victims of rape and do massive public awareness and lead the campaign yourself as the so-called feminist in chief. That's what you need to do. Don't come be sitting there and, 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 and when Ellie was in power and we talk about rape and when, what? This guy is sick. He is too sick. Play the recording, Baga. You got it. Let's play from the beginning. Play. Talking about this morning, uh, you and um, the coaches are talking to some Liberians about their concerns with respect to what's going on in the country, especially today concerning rape. 
Thanks for giving me an audience as I speak with you. Um, what's your take on this whole protest about rape? Well, uh, personally, I'm concerned about the rape, and uh, my government is concerned. And, uh, um, if you can recall, a few, a few weeks ago, uh, I constituted a, a board, you know, to discuss the rape issues, and uh, um, I invited the Chief Justice and um, the Speaker of the House and, uh, and the pro temporary the Vice President for President. And uh, just the minister of the, uh, uh, the ministry of gender, and then uh, the finance minister, and, uh, uh, with, with other civil society, is to address the, the issue of rape, because according to the general minister, rape is getting rampant, and then uh, we brought her to to show us uh, uh, the way forward. And uh, at the end of the day, she presented a document and uh, uh, on rape. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, play. Yeah, play. Oh, yes, yes. I think I say something. No, play. It's important to address the real issues, and uh, um, I spoke to the final minister right away, and, uh, and uh, some of the concerns he gave was uh, uh, difficult to detect who the rapists are when 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 they um, they get them. They need a uh, faster way to track those that are in this kind of behavior and uh, they thought that DNA machine was going to be the best one. And, uh, our partners were giving the <laughs> two machines and I uh, ordered the, I mean I use the word order, you know, I, I asked the final minister to add another you know, two machines. Hold on, 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 hold on. The man said if I, I order the final minister, I said let me not use the word order. Mm -hmm. The finance minister works for you, Mr. Billy God. You as president can say I order him. I can say I order Boaka. Boaka works for me. So mm -hmm. if you the president cannot say let me not use the word order because Samuel Tell be a bot. He hear the other man. He said let me not use the word order. I, I, I ask him. Hey, they got a stupid fool, my people. The president of the republic, the chief executive, the CRC can order anybody in the government. The man say. I order the final minister, <laughs> he then say, let me not use the word order here before two go be my butt. I asked the minister of finance, my boy, listen to the joker. Listen to what a weak man he is. Play, father. Play, Baka. Because I'm concerned about rape. I wanted to, to know the, the perpetrator uh, uh, speedily and then uh, uh, so they can address to the laws. And that's why the, justice, the chief justice was present. And uh, uh, we asked the team to go back. She just did. You know, and uh, um, some people suggested uh, the punishment for people that rape. Or some people thought that capital punishment was going to be good, you know, to, to deter rapists uh, from doing Hold on, hold on. What, on. what did the man say? Rapists. Now, but I need you to go back like two seconds. Just, is, is, there, is there a way you can just, you know, um, go back? two machines what that tells you is because I'm concerned about it I wanted to to know the, the perpetrator uh, uh, speedily and then uh, uh, so they can address to the law and that's why the justice the chief justice was present and uh, 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 we asked the team to go back and come back to us you know and uh, um, some people suggested uh, the punishment for people that read or some people thought that capital punishment we're going to be good, you know, to, to deter rapists. Hey, hold on. He said, what's it? What guy? What did he just say? To deter rapists. Rap, rapists. What the hell is a rapist? <laughs> My people, hey, but play the thing small. Don't go way back like that, man, boy. Don't go back small. Rapists? What is it about rapists? <laughs> that rapist, the boy called rapists. So he said it multiple times. Okay, continue playing. Con 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 continue playing it. To deter rapists. This plan was going to be good, you know, to, to deter rapists uh, from doing what they're doing. And uh, hmm. uh, it was put on the floor, on the table for discussion, and they were supposed to come back to me. They were uh, uh, So. Is that? I said, the Salomon Billy go dog. Rapists? <laughs> Jesus Christ, to deter rapists. So now, the rapists then, uh, 
the rapist. <laughs> Let play it, play, play it, but I told you, I told you, I told you a little bit for me. You know, and, and, and protesting on rape. Which, of course, I, I applaud them. I think it's a good thing to to show that uh, the serious, you know, while we are at a high level or uh, trying to talk about rape, you know, they also had a, a point to, to march for it. You know, it's, 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 it was meant to showcase something good for our society, you know, so that, and, and that's the hope that uh, uh, they continue to, you know... To, hold on, hold on, Baga. You see the stupid man? If it's a good thing to protest, to showcase or to highlight the issue of rape in the country, why did you send your police to beat them up? And you, and you hear the man? Yeah, they you sitting there watching it. You, you, he said and he was watching it while the police were beating the people, the children. I'm sorry, I have to call them that way, but these are many of them were young, young people. And you say it's a good thing for them to do the protest, but yet you ordered your police to beat them up and tear gas them and drag them. Come, continue playing. Can't talk about the rapists. Uh, Minus in our society. And uh, uh, as I went uh, 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 to today, then I see what, what was happening in the street. On the, uh, but what I didn't like is that uh, uh, you got other people within the group, you know, and uh, uh, was trying to disrupt what were meant for good. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, Baga. Mm -hmm. My boy, do you hear this fool? That there were other people in the group that tried to disrupt. Were, were there any incidents that any of the organizers or any of the participants in this piece of protest did try to make trouble? Of course not. Mm -hmm. So you see, just we are justification because yeah. there were political opposition people in the protest. Therefore, he wanted to break them up. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you see, he just gave you his justification. His justification for unleashing his talks, his police talks to in fact beat molest tear gas the peaceful protesters is because according to him there were people in their mess intent upon disrupting what kind of disruption my people my people you please tell me what kind of disruption did anybody attempt to do nobody but because if people told him oh you know that opposition people in that in that thing that they don't organize it are you freaking kidding kidding me so the man is saying the reason he sent a police to beat the poor up because they, some people wanted to disrupt. These are the opposition people. The man hates. The man hates anybody who does not sing hallelujah to him. So that's why he sent the police to beat the people up. Play, Baka, play. We need to advise not to be with a uh, serious amount of people because uh, uh, you go in the street to, to talk about uh, a rape, you have to be civil, you know, and it has to be guarded. So we all concerned. I have kids, and uh, uh, I feel for all those young children, and, 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 I, and I want to fight with them. The concern is they, 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 they haven't heard from you because they haven't seen you to, to make yourself visible for them to, to present their petition. Why have you not, not made yourself available to spread them? I just want to let them know that I'm with them, you know, that, uh, and this is why, uh, because of respect. Hold on, hold on, Baka. You mm -hmm. are with them? Yeah. But you send your police to beat them up. You are with them, but you send your police to tear gas them and drag them. And you were sitting there watching it while it all was going down. And yet you say you want to let them know that you are with them. Are you that stupid to think that they are that stupid to believe this nonsense coming out of your stupid mouth? That you are with them? Play that thing further, Bogan. Play that idiot further. The people, because uh, uh, if you go in the street to, to talk about uh, a rape, you have to be civil, you know, and it has to be guarded. So we all concerned. I have kids, and uh, uh, I feel for all those young children, and, 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 uh, and, I, and I want to fight with them. The concern is they, 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 they haven't heard from you because they haven't seen you to, to make yourself visible for them to, to present their petition. Why have you not, not made yourself available to spread them? I just want to let them know that I'm with them, you know, that, uh, and this is why, uh, because of respect of what they're doing, I send my protege, you know, to take the petition. What is it? Hey, hold on. Don't rewind, just stop. 
He said because of that, he said he protect protect protege. Yeah. Who a protege? First of all, do you know who a protege is? Be so that your protege. Ah. That are your minister that your protege. What did you talk also? Because I don't know. Because your your protege that some other you train that came up after you. So I want to know what did he taught Piso? Because I'm in a book because he not know nothing. So what did he teach Piso for how to be a protege? Eh? Your protege. That's somebody who you trained. Somebody you mentored. Somebody you groomed. So what did he taught Piso? My boy, please ask. What did he taught Piso for Piso to be a protege? Protege. protege. That ball, I swear to God. Play, I want to play. It's so, so he said he protect, protect him. Play. Protege. Why do they do understand that the government have a representation when a president designates someone to come to a people of our society in everything they do, whether it's protest, whether it's a message, and the president is not available and send someone to represent him, they should see that person as the president or messenger. And I don't think the person should be booed or disrespected. Because if you disrespect that person, then you also tell the president that we don't care what you say and how you feel. So that uh, going forward, anyone that goes to represent me for, for any petition, I think that because of the respect for government and, uh, and the way government works, they should give them that, that, that petition. It's not the paper, it's the message that is coming to the president. I don't have to be there, I could be busy. I sent somebody to collect it. If yeah. I didn't send... Busy, busy. You were busy? Yeah. <laughs> you were busy at home watching the video. Video. <laughs> yeah. The man was busy at home. Eh? The fissy man. The belly goat. He said he was busy at home watching the video. He said he watched the whole thing. He, he said it. You will hear him say it later. He watched the entire thing. So he was busy at home watching as people were getting beat down. Yeah. And tear gas. And dragged, he was he was busy. So people should respect him, protege. Piso tired that he protege. Me, I don't know what he taught Piso because I know Piso. Piso is incompetent, but she better than him. She yeah. So me, I don't know what he taught Piso because he protege. I don't know protege. Now what he taught Piso? So my boy, please tell me. Let play. What I play? anybody to collect the petition then then i don't care about what they're doing well of course you know i care in 2017 i was in the street marching from city hall to where we were gathering for rip so that it's a serious case and uh, we need to address the issue together and this is why we 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 call the stakeholders on the table for people to bring ideas to, to find a way through the law go in within a constituted country country of law Hey, what kind of country? Constituted. Hold on. Well, we, we are in a constituted country. A yeah. constituted country. My people, you are listening. What do they call constituted country? Talk about boss stupid. Const a constituted country? <laughs> yeah. My man, let's play it here. Play it, Constituted country. Ah. And then we, 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 we govern by the law. So if anything needs to be changed, anything needs to be added, we need to get on the table and discuss it. You know, the, the rape issue is not today. It's a long time uh, uh, thing, but I think we can defeat those, the people that rape uh, when we get together, when we put up good ideas and uh, work together uh, and not uh, see each other as the person against rape and the person not because they did not go for a petition. No, I'm the president of the republic. They elected me. They gave me functions. Hey, listen. Hey, hold on. Mr. Bele God. Play all in and let you. <laughs> that was, they gave me four shots. You know you four shot? That was, they let me, they gave me, they, they gave me four shots. They gave you no damn four shots. <laughs> rapists, the rapists. <laughs> Look, they, we, they, they gave you, they, 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 they elected you, then they, when they need your service, you get you, you Yeah, then you get me there. there. You be saying after your whole watching the video on mm -hmm. Facebook. Then you say your protege, your protege. My boy, your I want to know what the job we have taught Piso Ta for her to be a protege, 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 protege. But listen, talk about we let him, we ain't getting for sure.
Once you were elected, you begin you have function. Thanks to Ellie and the other stupid dishes that voted for you. They don't want to let you. Hey, that all don't bring that nonsense to all. They gave me function. They gave me function. They gave me function. What, what did they want? They gave me function. <laughs> we are a constituted country. <laughs> Look at that idiot. I'm a player. They damn very good. Stop, but they gave me function. What kind of function will get you? Function to steal. Function to be being jaggy up here and they all want to play. Eh? Function to be belly mansion all over the place and the function will get you damn fool. Belly goat of a president. Player. Talk about the game in function. <laughs> what <in> function? <laughs> uh, our deputies and um, our representation, mm -hmm. they don't respect that. They're their own government and they don't respect the government. Hmm. I don't have to be there. You know, I want to be there, but I'm not able to be there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> they got that stupid. He said, he wanted to be there, but you're not able to be there. What were you doing? Oh, I was watching the video. Oh. <laughs> that guy is a fool. No, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy is a fool. The guy said he wanted to be there, but he was not able to be there. And because he was watching the video for a horse. <laughs> oh, my God, play, 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 my God. They got, they got, they got, look. This is the comedian in chief, the resident comedian of the Costa show. Play it, Bogart. We get all, all, all not all see each other as the person against rape and the person not because they did not go for a petition. No, I'm the president of the republic. They elected me. They gave me functions. And my function is to represent them. I have deputies and uh, have <laughs> representation. If they don't respect that, then their own government, then they don't respect the government. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be there. You know? I want to be there, but I'm not able to be there. So I sent somebody, you know, and uh, I hope going forward, and Liberia will understand that when sometimes when the president is not available to take your petition, it doesn't mean that he doesn't care. He cares, but he's not there at the time he will send somebody to, to, to get it. When I don't address the issue, then you can come back and say, well, we'll give you our petition, you did not address the issue. So, so we will not have problems. Former well, President Sharif, uh, just uh, just uh, you know, went there today to identify with the protesters. What do you think about that? I think uh, she's a citizen, you know, former president. And, uh, um, she did a, a, a good thing to to listen to their concern, you know. And uh, but what I didn't like those that were in the crowd, you know, trying to disrespect the former president. It wasn't a good thing. And uh, uh, I don't think uh, going forward, any citizen that are concerned that goes to a protest and trying to talk to them, they should be given the, the platform and uh, with respect. Mm -hmm. We can be approaching uh, our, our dignitaries or, or human Hold on, hold on. Man, Is it, so but hold on, and don't rewind, please. Just stop right there. You see this idiot? All he cares about is respect. They gotta respect me. They gotta respect me. We don't respect you. You are a stupid fool. We do not respect you. You understand me? We do not respect you, George Weir. You do not deserve respect. You sit down there, you're watching video while you give your police orders to attack, brutal, brutalize, and tear gas peaceful protesters, predominantly female. Eh? And then you sit down there, you say, why they, they, they know I said they know presented a petition to my protege. I said my protege. We don't respect you. Leave this thing about respect. We are obligated to respect authority. Not the individuals in authority. The individuals in authority must earn our respect. This idiot, somebody go tell a belly goat. Toba, hey, when you present your petition, if I don't address the petition, then you can have issue with me later. When the COP organized the largest protest in the history of the country, period. The largest protest in the history of the country on June 7th. We presented our petition to you later. Did you address our petition, you damn fool? Did you not tell the high power ECOWAS UN delegation that you brought to Liberia to back us to call up the second protest that you will address our, our petition? Did you do it? You, you did not. How dare you sit there and talk about uh, respect, respect, respect. You didn't deserve no damn respect. You a damn stupid fool. You are a thief, a criminal, a heartless evil man. And that's why we do not respect you. And that's why we'll vote you behind out of power. If you are stupid, we'll drag you to market door. In 2023, play, play, play that thing for me. Talking about respect, respect. We respect you. You damn criminal. You fool. Play, boy. I don't think she will address the right way. 
but she did the right thing. You know, she was a former leader. You know, he, during her time, we got in the street to, to, to walk. We were not protesting. <laughs> but we were what? Letting the government know that rape is not a good thing in society in 2017. And she was the president. So you see, the, the issue become a, a national issue, even though she's not there. The issue but become. I, I applaud her for leaving her house to go there, you know, and uh, and I show if she couldn't, if she had, if she was not there, she was going to send somebody to, to to meet with these people. It's our responsibility to send a representation all ourselves. So I think she did well. Your citizens are, are concerned, definitely, and you know, and you two are very serious about tackling rape. How soon can we begin to see some new measures? Because I, I understand you, you expect now this, this commission is set up to do a report to you for further action. How soon can we can we see some further actions? Well, what I can do as a, a, a chief executive to make sure that we put in all mechanism for this to, to be successful. Mechanism. That's why I'm, running, I'm trying to get DNA machine. Even though we're getting some from our partner, but we're getting more DNA machine. So we can really Hello, hold on, Baga. Hold on. Okay, then he's talking about rapies. You gotta go being small. But hold on. <laughs> he he used the word rapies again, rapies. But listen, folks. They got things the only way to find rape that to get DNA DNA machine. He, he, he can say machine, not machine, machine. Wait. The boss say the way to find rape that to get DNA machine. So when you get a DNA machine. The DNA machine will only tell you, will help you to determine whether the victim was actually raped by a certain individual because most likely the semen or the sperm mm -hmm. of the rapist would be uh, would be uh, would be left inside of the, the victim's uh, uh, private part, right? The victim's womanhood. So his whole idea of fighting rape is to get a DNA machine, the machine, so that the machine can determine whether that John Brown rape the leg hair or that poor rip the leg hair. So the other man want to he when he get a DNA machine, then the machine will tell him that who committed the rape. His issue is not to prevent the rape. His issue is not to do the massive awareness. His issue is not to get the communities involved to encourage them to not condone rape, to bring to report rapists. His issue is not to build safe houses for 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 victims of rape and remove them from their communities and the households where they have been raped and place them in these same houses where they can be provided with, with, with schooling, where they can receive psychosocial counseling to be nursed back to normalcy after being horribly abused and traumatized. That's not an issue. This man is so stupid, he thinks that a DNA machine, the machine can fight rape. Machine, my people, where in the world have you seen a president, a leader tell you the way to fight a crime is to determine who committed the crime? No, in this particular effort, it is to do massive awareness, massive uh, 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 com com community engagement, and to also provide support for victims of rape. That's how you fight rape. You don't fight rape by buying DNA machine. They make things about buying DNA machine, you can fight rape. Talk about that, they got stupid. And that's what he thinks. Play the tape. Play, Baga, play. So we can be able to determine who, who the rapists are. The rapists. Hey, hold on. The, hold on. Is, so, so all he wants to do is to determine who the rapists are. You heard him? He yeah. buying the DNA machine so that he can determine who the rapists are. Rapists. He did not say rapists. He said rapists. Rapists. What the hell is rapists? Now, he wants to know who the rapists are. That's what he's interested in. So y'all can rap all y'all want. All y'all want wants to know is who you are. He's not talking about how you can stop it, how you can control it, how you can provide shelter, protection, social, psychosocial counsel, 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 counseling, you know, social welfare pr protection for victims of rape, victims of sexual exploitation and abuse who should be removed from the communities where they've been traumatized and stigmatized and place them in these in the safe houses away from the from the from the abuse. And provide counseling, and he said, All he want to, he won't find out who the rapists are. The rapists to determine who the rapists are. That is not how you tackle a, 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 an issue as important as pervasive as rape. You tackle it by massive awareness, engagement with the community to encourage them to break the taboos. Where they say, Let's talk a family away. No.
Anybody engaged in talking to family ways should be equally prosecuted for being an accomplice of rape. You need to do all of these things. Then you sit down there, you say, I won't get a DNA machine so the machine can tell all who the rapists are. Rapists, not rapists, but rapists. This idiot says, rapists. Play, boy, I play. Yeah, uh, judicial issues that can be discussed. Because you're talking about penalty, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not the precedent, you know, it's the, it's the law, you know what I'm saying? If you say someone will be uh, incarcerated, so that will, someone will have a capital punishment, then it should be discussed. And remember, a lot of people believe that, oh, it's a dictator, but I'm always. Oh, hold on, hold on. What is the law? Why? Yeah. So he knows that we say that he's a detector. <laughs> he said you follow the law. Look at it, very good. Did you follow the law when you nominated uh, George Patton to be ambassador to the United States? Commissioned him and sent him to the United States on assignment without sending him to the Senate for confirmation? Did you follow the law? Do you follow the law when you frequently and blatantly and flagrantly violate the public procurement laws and you award count, count, contracts based on unilateral decisions to your friends and your buddies and your business partners? Do you follow the law? Do you follow the law when you step in our budget and you move funds allotted for A and movement of B? Do you follow the law when, when you do off-budget spending? Do you follow the law? Do you follow the law when your Minister of Finance refuses to submit quarterly reports to the Liberian people and their legislators about the performance of the budget, the performance of the revenue collection? Do you follow the law, Mr. Idiot of a President? Do you follow the law when the Constitution mandates that every 10 years you must do a national population census and you are supposed to conduct one in 2010, I mean 2018, and it's two years late? Have you done it? Do you follow the law? You damn fool talking about, I'm not a detector, I follow the law. You ain't no damn uh, 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 law abiding president. You undermine the constitution. Talking about we are a constituted country. What is a constituted country? Nonsense. Play that joker again. The resident comedian of the constitution. Issues should make sure that they come on the table to address it. Why don't they put themselves together and go to the national legislature to sit with them? To, to, to talk about... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. Now the idiot is saying the organizers of the protest should have gone to who? To the legislature. They may not want to take any responsibility. No, Waka, he does not want to. to. Blame game. Yeah. For everything. Yeah. Can you imagine? He does not want to take responsibility. So he says the people should have gone to the legislature. That's why they should have gone. Not to him. Not to him. The, the president went to the legislature and petitioned them. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Play, but I play. This guy is a joke. Starting a conversation, let's talk about the security forces today. Now, there are complaints about uh, some of the protesters that uh, they were not handled by security forces, especially the police. What do you say? Well, uh, if they did that, uh, uh, still was condemned that. But again, uh, 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 the security forces. Because I began to forget what the weather was. So that was you know, the weather, the uh, 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 weather, weather. He said if they did that, he mm -hmm. said he was watching. He was basically watching the, the, the yeah. protest. They, if they did that. Then he said if they did that. Then he goes on to justify it that some of the people there wanted to disrupt and that's why they beat them. The security forces attacked everyone who was there. Not it's some, not, everyone. Because I think you were watching when the security forces started beating the children, I think he went for the Hennessy bottle, so he never saw that part. You know, it is, yeah, he was getting chopper. Play, brother, play. This go to the street, one of our good protests to garden. And uh, we have to be honest. You have some people that, that, that break the laws, and these are the people, the police, are uh, trying to, to weed out sometimes. Hold on. Hold on. So those those young women who were attacked by police officers, the young men who were all the people who were arrested, who were chased and tear gassed, did they all break the law? And this guy is a liar. He's justifying the brutality of the police yesterday against 
innocent, unarmed, peaceful protesters. That's what he's doing. The same thing he did to us on January 6th. Had his police tear gas and beat people up. And water can of us. You know? The same thing. Let's go ahead. Play, brother. Play. Uh, some innocent citizens get, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 some of these uh, uh, hits and what have you. And it's wrong to do that. And and uh, uh, my police director know, the IG know, every time he goes to the street, I tell him not to carry arms or, or needle or little weapon. So that if that happened today, you know, and then uh, uh, it's unfortunate. If that happened today, you see that? Note, it doesn't happen again. If you look at the history in the country, since I came here as a president, you see that protest is uh, ongoing, you know, because we, we believe in human rights and we want people right to be respected. Look at the men who believe in human rights. When, when yeah. they say their the right is. Uh, play, Baka, play, play. Yeah, play, play. Uh, What's going on? Yeah, just hold on a bit. We are trying to set up something, okay? Here's it. Sorry, sorry, we're trying to work up on something quickly to see okay. if we can. Okay, um, all right, let's just play in a sorry about that. All right, to be protected, you know. Yeah, like I said, you have some innocent people that went there with a CC had to make sure that they talk about the rape, but other people were there. You, I just want to. It remind you, I watched live the television. You see how many people were insulting the president? Hey, hold up, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. He said he yeah. watched live. Why? How many people were insulting the president? You see his motivation for giving the order to beat people up? In fact, nobody was insulting you before your police started attacking them. No. When they, when the police started attacking, that's when some of the police started cussing you. And they were right to cuss you. They were right to cuss you. So you see the issue? He watched it while they were cussing a president and cussing the president. That's all he cares about. That's all he cares about. Talk to him nicely. Worship him. Don't cuss him. Even when he deserves to be cussed up. Play, Baga. Play. Play. You know, we all talk about rape. Why someone should be insulting authority? It's wrong to do so. So the, uh, going forward, mm. we need to we, we 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 got to know who all are protesting, okay. where they come from, what they doing. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Protesters are in Liberia. <laughs> they got stupid. They 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 got too stupid. They got say we got to know who all are protesters. My people, you yelling, man. Where they come from, who they are. So before you protest. You must submit your CV. The mm -hmm. government will evaluate your CV. They got stupid. Oh, 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 my people working on trouble with you. So, play that part again, boy. The man said, before you do protest, the man must know who you are. Mm -hmm. Play. Great. Why someone should be insulting authority? It's wrong to do so. So, the, uh, going forward, we need to, we, 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 we got to know. Who all are protesting? Where they come from? What they doing? Well, we know that. It's hey, so hold on, hold on, brother. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I said, when you want to protest, you want to know what place you working, what place you living, what kind of business you doing, who your man is, who your pa is, before yeah. you go protest. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Did this man not say severally, not not once, that he supposed the the peaceful protest of people? Did he not say that earlier? Now he contradicts himself to say that in order for you to protest, the government must know who you are, where you live, where you come from, who your parents are. My people, you see the trouble with him. So may your CV several weeks in, in advance, let the government review it. When the stupid teaching they used to protest when anyone were in power, did anybody ask them who they were, where they came from? No. Talking, okay, that guy is stupid. Play, boy. Play. And I don't think police will come in the street. But when you have protests, a broad protest where you have everybody, other people coming to do different things, then that the police have to protect the citizen. Because you know, it's not every citizen was in the street to be protesting. You got some that are concerned, 
but we're going to to their jobs and they need to be protected. So the, uh, the police have the right to to go and defend civil liberty. Mm. Like I say again, if hold on, hold on, hold on. No, the police have the right to defend civil liberties. Does this board know what civil liberties mean? Does he not know that one of the cardinal uh, uh, issues or one of the cardinal things, one of, one of the cardinal components of civil liber liberties is the right to peaceful protest? Does he not know that? Mm. Does he not know that? Talking. Play, Waka. Play. As I don't condone those kind of behavior for any officers. But the officers, you know, uh, uh, they do doing very well to protect the citizens. Ah. We have a series of, of protests, and you see that uh, 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 they have done well. You're quite a busy man. You've had uh, representation internationally, especially with ECOWAS and the Malian crisis. Fun time. Are you willing, you know, uh, in your business schedule to just meet with the representatives of the concerned protesters for this great campaign? Yeah, I can meet with them. You know, but it, it, again, uh, uh, Mr. Lesho, we have to be honest here. Those leaders of the protesting of a rape, you know, you have the general minister, they can come to the general ministry. Or to listen to this. Again, listen to this. Why would you say, Bagai? Yeah. Why would you say you want to meet with them? You can't just stop right there and say, yes, I, I'm open to meeting with, with them. I would love to sit down with them, hear them out, hear their ideas. Bring my 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 relevant administration uh, officials, and and so we can have a discussion with them, so that we all can work together and have a fusion of of ideas to help combat this national scourge. That's how a leader will speak. He say, "Yeah, I want to meet with them, but 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 you got to understand, they they do not mean they're really supposed to meet. They're supposed to meet somebody else. Then why the hell are you saying that? They they just say I want to meet with them. Let them go meet peace or time." And meet other people, but don't say, Yeah, I, I want to meet with them. But, but let's be honest here, let why they can meet the other people. You don't say that, you don't say that, you do not say that. Play again, boy. Right? Play again. By law, we still want to go through the both uh, our houses, you still, still have to go to the legislation. So, the they can say that only 10 times. I'm concerned about raping, they are concerned. The best way to do it is to get to get to the law and, and on rape, go there, and then, then, then see how you can talk about it, and we'll take it serious. And then, then, then I show the, the legislature will do their best, like they did human rights. Today, I saw some people go to the American embassy, mm -hmm. and I heard that whether it's true or not, I don't know, the guys or team from the American embassy came and collected a petition. Whether the ambassador was there or not, but if you, if you were a separate team from the American embassy, which is not wrong at all, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, refuse to accept a team from the government to receive the petition, then uh, you can see that it, it doesn't make sense. Okay. So now, of course, I'm going to point to this particular area is that we, did, we, the citizens of Liberia, never elected the U.S. ambassador. Going to petition him, it's just showing that, oh, this is what's happening in our country, and we want for the international community to know. That's one thing the president should know. And President, we are we elected you to work for us. We have the authority that, oh, Mr. President, we want to see you, we want to interact, we want to tell you the thing that is going on. Please try to do something about it. Then if you tell us that you send a delegation, you never told us that you're sending delegation, and you can't, it would never accept the delegation, but went to the U.S. Embassy and talked to delegation for the U.S. Embassy. That, that, he shouldn't be saying such a thing, man, President Weir. The guy's a fool. Play, my guy, play. It makes sense. So you see, uh, uh, Liberian going forward, they need to know that uh, we are all uh, in partnership. You know, whether you are a politician or, or not. Liberian already passed that, that era of, of destruction and wars and this unity and what have you. It's time for us to move forward mm. and do everything with civility. Seriously. Hey, so we passed the era of disunity and destruction when citizens can be attacking people all over the place when you stupid fool of a president can look at us and say we don't belong in our own country. 
You say you call us enemies of the state. You chase me out of my country because we organize peaceful protest. You damn fool! And you talking about and librarians are the era of this this unity is behind or something got to be wrong with you. You are the champion of this unity. You are the champion of hate. You perpetrate hate and divisiveness. You make it difficult for many people to live in a country. Your people go and attack people. You order your people to go and flog Telia Yure. You said it yourself, literally. Go flog that little girl. We all know what they did to her. Nearly killed her. Attacking people everywhere, throwing stones, burning people's cars. Then you talking about the era of destruction is over. You damn stupid fool. Play, boy. You know, they are now politicized or rape. Rape is a serious issue. I can only again uh, let you know that let you, the president office is open to all Liberians. If those people that, uh, that petition the government, you can also petition the government and take it to the government office and leave your petition there. And I'm sure your petition will be addressed. So going forward, let us do the right thing so we all can be treated fairly and rightly. Okay, that's the end. That is the end of the interview. Now we're going to go to the phone lines and take calls. Now, the last time Josiah gave an interview, I remember, was December 20th. It was the day after Henry Costa arrived in Liberia with a tsunami crowd, a tsunami welcome. Thousands of Liberians from many walks of life, all, if not all, came out to receive me. And Josiah was so hurt by that. He was so pained. He was so disturbed by it. We took six hours and 40 minutes from RIA to Monrovia. Because of the crowd. People were standing by the roadside everywhere, waving palm branches, speaking to us. It was so beautiful, beautiful. We were so hurt that he did an interview the very next day. They announced that very day that he was going to be speaking. December 19, they call it Henry Costa Day. That is the last time George Weah gave an interview with Ledger Hurani. And that interview was a disaster. In fact, it was better he hadn't spoken. This interview is, well, the first one since that one. Okay. Let's go to the lines. Let's take some calls. You're listening to the Costa Show, the nation's premier platform where we discuss the issues that matter. That is your president, unfortunately. The man does not claim responsibility. The man does not take initiative. The man is not a leader. He is not a leader. He said, you went to the wrong person. He said, you, the organizers, the protesters, of these peaceful protests that have happened for the last three days should have gone to the legislator and not to him. Now, the COP folks were assembled today at 12th 12, 12 May Day. COP were assembled at 12 May Day at the Liberia Business Registry to resubmit our papers. At 12, May, at 12 May Day today, the Council of Patriots will assemble at the Liberia Business Registry up Ashburn Street to resubmit our registration, our articles of incorporation and the form that has been duly filled out. We will assemble. I'm calling on, as your chairman, all COP members and supporters to turn out at the Liberia Business Registry today to witness the resubmission. Now, as many of you as possible, as many of you as possible, resubmit. the media will also be there. We're inviting the media 12th May Day, today, in Liberia, at the, head, at the offices of the Liberia Business Registry, up Ashford Street, around uh, Old French Cable. That's what it is. That, that's, that, that, that's, that's where Old uh, French Cable used to, used to be. That's where they, we, we are doing it today. Let's go to the phone lines now and take some calls there. 12 noon, today. 07701021020880. Uh, 055 102 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you are live. Welcome to the show. You are calling from? Uh, my name is Okay, go ahead. Don't listen to the receiver. Listen to me through the phone. Yeah, yeah. Make your point. Yeah. Let's hear you, Arthur. Go ahead. I am so glad to be here for that show. I'm very happy. You know, I'm very happy to know 
the federal organization was on serious, very concerned indeed. And now whenever you have a parent that asks you or children that he or she can behave. So I would tell that friend people who just got here, who just got here on serious men. Come to me to the train, not put me out. But last year I talked to him, they deserve it. Congratulations. And believe that when put belong in the center of seat. Uh, Joe, well, never wrong because of the Alright, thank you so much. 0770-102-102-086-010-383-0555-102-102. The WhatsApp number is plus 231-886-24171. Pangomo Camelot, take one minute. Good morning. Yes, yeah, good morning. 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 Go ahead. Hello? Yeah. Papa. <laughs> the audience will look for it. As for me, everything that we have said, everything that we have said to the people yesterday, for me, I believe a lot. What is my job? I believe or oh, I expect the lab, the lab will expect it. Insult you. 
But as long as you are stupid, you can steal and you wicked, I will insult you. You damn Billy Goat of a president. Take more calls. I can enjoy it by way. And I did my video the other day responding to him after he said I am for 30,000. My video now has over 55,000 views. No, 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 nothing said. I ain't your heart thousand views. But the issue here is, George, we are. The reason I enjoy insulting you is because you are a cruel man. You're not a leader. You've, you've been given the opportunity tons of times to step up. You do not step up. What would it have cost you? Had you, Mr. President, come out yesterday to receive that petition? You, you didn't necessarily have to go in the midst of a crowd. You could come downstairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, right there at the gate, and the people come to you. You organize a number of them with the media. They come and they read a statement and hand it personally to you. What would it have cost you? But pride, pride and arrogance stopped you, held you back. Because you think you are the president and you're too good to come down to receive a petition from your own people. You dirty rogue. Let's take some more calls then. Talking about all day, they insult me. They insult me. They're not good to insult the president. If the president is a thief and deserves to be insulted, the president should be and must be insulted. And that is the only way you can get to the president, you must insult the president. It is okay. That is what you've made us believe. The only way we can get your attention is when we insult you. No nice speaking to you would change anything. When the COB organized and 20,000 Liberians came, came out, what did you do? You shut down the internet in the country. You, you initially in the morning, you, you deployed police people to try to stop us. You did all kinds of things. You brought the international community to try to stop us from, pro from protesting. And you said, you think I'm going to respect you. I do not respect you. And I never will. You dirty rogue. Let's take another call up. Gibraltar Peak. 0770 102 102 086 uh 010383 triple five one oh two one oh two and the whatsapp number is plus two three one triple eight six two oh, my brother stop calling that number over man i don't like when you call it you just sound like you call it too many times people got the number yeah but now every, yeah. you can't take two calls then you call the number oh no no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead go to the lines I take the, take uh, the let's take this person good morning good morning sir how are you I'm okay, yeah, you may call it from. My name is Hello. Your name? Morning. Your name? My name is Soko C David and I'm from Kalata. Morning, good morning. Right. Yeah, well, it's not my it's morning. It's so it's happening about the situation on the day that I was struck by the police. You know what I read? In this country, our president we have law for the country. So we are supposed to be guided not to see that people are protesting against evil to us. People who are raping innocent children. You're supposed to be very happy that your awareness is going around instead sending police to be arresting people. It's so sad. It's so sad. It hurt me a lot to see a very stupid man to leave that bureau. But we pray that I would never get made that kind of mistake again anymore. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now take Noah Zao Gibson. Uh, on this light. Noah, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Pastor. Morning, morning, Noah. Uh, Waka and everyone listening. That very bold and idiot who came on the line and said because Pastor is insulting his back, John Wea. It was good that you caught him up. You know, some of us don't really intend to uh, be using effective at times. But I think when it reach now, we got to we got to be more radical than we think we have been. Because look what happened yesterday. Besides, on Tuesday when they started the whole rape protest, uh, the people were they were very peaceful. The people did not do anything wrong. But Jonathan Koji, let them take this group of guys in the midst of the people and they started to stew for the end of the city hall. So, at uh, uh, that day, what draws you are saying about it? It says those who were protesting that they died. Eh? You know how sensitive rape is? You know, you know, you know, you know, rape, rape is a crime. Rape is a heinous crime. Thank you for the city in the morning. 
where you are raping, everything you do is that to pronounce you talk. To propound logic, you talk. Comprehension level, you talk. But actually, we are put there. Okay. I'm going to show you people who are the Afro and Nigeria. 2020 is our end. And so we signed the paper for the opposition. We signed this one. I mean, uh, these ones for letting Thank you. And then we get ready to retire and connect to the deal. Let's get the conference. Thank you. Thank you. Noah Zao Gibson. Keep your calls coming in. Uh, we'll take, let's take this person here. Good morning. Hello? Yeah, your name is calling from. Hello? Good morning. Your name is calling from. Yeah, good morning. What time is this? Uh, Yes, Agosti, thank you for calling for Okay, welcome, Agosti. Yeah, uh, so the issue of race, uh, 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 as compared to somebody in George Weah, who is George Weah that somebody can afford why people are on the, the high scale of race, people can do them in the country. I don't understand our people, you know, in this photo, we got three staff of Zogo. We got the white color Zogo, we got the red color Zogo, and we got the black color Zogo. You understand? I mean, our people that are actually looking at the models of important and important as far as the government of Georgia being important. Who is he? The father of you? That's the boy that's going to go to the country. Thank you. But you know, let's see. Let me say this to you. The man has made it clear to us there are two things he's afraid of that he, he hates. And so because he's a bad leader, those are the things that we must do. That's how you get under people's skin. You criticize him. You insult the hell out of him. You cuss him good. And then what else? Protest. He doesn't like protest. Oh, he hates it. Even benign protests that are not against him, like the, like, like the rape protest. The rape protest are not against the president. But just because he can't stand the side of people pro protesting. Whether, however good a cause it is, he just hates it. As long as it is not for him. If they protest in his favor and go and say, oh yeah, we are here to say we love the president, we protest against those who don't love the president, he likes that. All the man likes is for you to tell him you love him, he's the best thing that ever happened to the country, while he is looting the country blind, building his mansions, womanizing with our country's resources, telling everything is nice. And look what he did with the APM, I mean, with the BVAC thing, the uh, pre shipment inspection thing. But what are you to his girl? The Ghanaian girl, Angela List. Yeah, that's what he does. So the only way you get on a mess of weird skin is to cuss him, tell him the truth. Don't cuss him out. Tell him he's a stupid fool, yes. I mean, cuss him. He is a fool. He is a fool. Look at the way he speaks. Hear the things he says. What kind of leader speaks like that? Tell him, you answer the kind of me. You also to go to the lawmaker then. Now, did he want to make the law? And this, 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 and this, this, this. We'll cuss you. That's what we'll do. You build a good president. Let's take more calls You don't deserve respect. What kind of respect? You still even all you building properties while people suffering? They say we should respect you. We as citizens are under obligation to obey the laws of the land. Respect authority. Not the individuals in authority. The individuals in authority would only earn our respect when they behave themselves. That's what we do. Respect the president. Better move from there. Take some more calls there, yeah, boy. Our, our, our town will open. Take five more calls and then we'll call it a day. And a weekend. Or a week. Let's take this person from our WhatsApp number. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Boaka, and good morning to Aaron Costa. Morning to you, my brother. Welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, India, uh, Costa, I want to say thank you so much this morning for the program and the topic of the discussion. It's really clear that our Liberian people need to understand that uh, this person does not have a was in his interest. He claimed that he loved the people, but whatever happened in the past three days, they have shown that he doesn't like us. And then Costa put to another discussion. I listened to the final minister last night, Samuel Twe, and he discussed that the diaspora does not uh, add any taxes into the country, whatever money they send to Western Union or MoneyGram is not a tax. 
So I want to ask the finance minister, what is the direct tax and indirect tax? You think paying money to revenue is only tax? They have direct tax and they have indirect taxes. So I want him to explain that to me, then I will understand that Western Union or money going is not a tax. He needs to understand this thing. If he said that he's the finance minister, he needs to understand that there's a direct taxes and indirect taxes. So this money the people take from Western Union, there are indirect taxes that already they pay, but they don't they don't know. So you need to know this thing. If you want to if you want to feel that it is wrong, then he come by and justify himself, whatever he said last night. Thank you so much for the show this morning and may God bless you. Thank you. Uh, my brother for calling. That's the only way you get to the man. The only way you get to George Weah is to tell him the truth, insult him, call him a fool, call him an idiot, an empty headed man. That's the only way. If we had a decent president in power, you think we'll talk to him the way we can talk to him, my people? It is out of frustration that's, that I speak to George Weah in this manner. And it's, it's, it, 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 it is not unique to Henry Costa alone. That's how people, people are frustrated. The man does not listen. Now, Tua, if Tua said what the brother said he said, which I wouldn't be surprised if he did say that, I'm not, uh, it's just stupid. Liberians in the diaspora, predominantly, particularly the United States, they will make at least four to $500 million a year to the country. This accounts for anywhere around 30% of the country's GDP. 30%! of the country's GDP, or even higher by now, or everybody else, 30%. That money is used mostly to support family members and loved ones and friends. They use those monies, those remittances that they receive every day. They use those monies to do what? They pay their rent, they, uh, they, they purchase goods and services, they uh, build houses, and you say that's not creating an impact? That money is what also provides foreign exchange for the country. Millions and millions and millions of U.S. dollars going to the country. 30% of the nation's GDP. Foreign exchange. Badly needed foreign exchange. So the remittances that, are, that, that go to the country from Liberians in the diaspora, they provide foreign exchange. USD for the government, for the country. Those people buy rice, they buy Super kind, they buy building materials, they pay for all kinds of stuff, and they're creating jobs, and they and those purchases that they make, every time they purchase, what happens, what kind? There are sales taxes. There are taxes on those sales, on the purchases that are re, that are remitted to government. You're talking millions and millions of dollars. But more than that, it is these remittances. That is helping to keep certain uh, most or good number of people afloat. Because most Liberians got jobs. Why can't? How you think they survive? Yeah. They survive on what their people send for them every month. That little monthly hundred dollars or two hundred or three hundred or four hundred is what they survive on. And that money is what they use to make purchases. And when they make purchases, taxes are tax revenue. Revenue is generated, and this and and and, and so to I just, if Tua did say say that, I'm sure my brother from India would not be lying. But you know, Tua is just too damn stupid. Here I am, not an economist, but I understand that the impact of the remittances. You're talking thirty percent of the nation's GDP, about five hundred million dollars a year coming from abroad. It is that money they use to buy rice. From the people who import rice. It is that money they use to buy what you name it, everything. And yet you say librarians in the diaspora. Oh, was he saying that to try to trash talk and say librarians abroad are not important? Apparently, that's the point you were trying to make, Waka. Because they have realized that they are way more unpopular abroad than they are in the country. To find sedition in America, Waka, right now, yeah. Hello, Waka, did you hear me? Yeah. To find sedition, muya muya mene, eha nasa. CDC seditions are becoming an endangered species. You know what an endangered species is? Let the animal in a bourgeois eha to find nasa. Eha to find it. Seditions are fast becoming an endangered species. To find sedition eha in America. I can speak for America because I live here and I and I travel around a lot. To find muya muya mene, eha. So that why I didn't try then. 
Muya me me the few na the one one. We say oh that man a muya me. Then some man say oh my man I was muya before but I left. I found the truth. So John we are pam pam he pam pam playing people but the pam pam getting the pam pam getting weak. So that why you see. That, 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 that is it why I want to talk trash to the, the, the librarians in the diaspora who send at least between 450 to $500 million a year to Liberia, Europe, America, predominantly America. That's where most of the money comes from. Over $300 million come from America alone. Over $300 million. So now the men say, oh, no, you're, you're, saying that you're, you're not paying taxes. The money they send to Liberia, half a billion dollars a year. You know what that money doing? You know how many people that money is supporting? That money they're using it to buy scratch cards, they're using it to buy rice, they're using it to buy everything. And, and, and those purchases that are made, tax revenue is generated on each, each purchase. And then he said, and then he said, I say seditions are an endangered species in America. To farm, you go, you, if you see 10 Liberians, what guy, huh? If you see 10 Liberians, uh, maybe only two of them that's that muya muya. And now two will say, oh, I used to support them but I left. Now, in a certain community, if you go in a, a, a among, say, a predominantly crime community, of course, that's where the number is highest. And let's be, let's be honest. Most of the crime people still support just we are. But, of course, the crime population is, is very small. The crime community is small. Most crime people still support we are. That is the fact. That one that they have, that they have, that they have business. That they have their business, they say that Sammy song, that they are business. But most crime, crime people, not all, I know many decent crime people who don't support we are. Plenty. But if you see 10 crime men, eh? But that, seven of them support we are. Hmm. Eh, but I'm not, I'm not lying. My man, I was married into the, in, into the, in, in, into the community. They are good people. And I said they're not good people. I say I was married into the, into the community. They are good people, hard, hard working people, every everything. But they are Jawia Bene, Jawia Pampa, the Grand Jira people. I don't know where I Pampa is here. You see, 10 crown people, six to seven of them support Jawia. I say the lie. I'm telling you something serious. But other than that, if you go among other tribes, ah! to see, even the crew people, they're not, they don't support we are as much as the, uh, the crown people do. They don't. They own king's men. They don't support him as much as the crown people do. You see, 10 crown men, 6 to 7, support John we are. I am telling you something, zero. But I know many, many decent, decent, decent crown people. It does not mean to say crown, 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 we love like bro, but... It just means that some of them think that the whole issue with Joe here is some kind of do. That all. And it does not mean that crown people are not nice people. It doesn't mean any of those things. But the truth is, plenty of them just support we are. I know why they support we are. I know why our crown brothers and sisters, they just let it Joe we are men. They men are useless men. They men, y'all look, look at the men, y'all look at Sami. Joe, Joe had his shortcoming. Plenty, plenty he had. But you can compare Do and Jovia. Eh? They, Do was ambitious. He's a boy, bro, and come by and say, no, the one will do the one, yeah, will do the one. And he will actually try to do it. He was ambitious. He, 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 he was very, very ambitious. But let me, let me ambitious. All the let me get one woman on us. He bay horse it then. He do the one, he do that one. So I'm telling you, I know plenty, 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 plenty crown people. Now, they're not bad people, but they just support we are. I don't understand that. And, contrary to the misconceptions about crown people, I was married into a crown family, and I know them to be very good people. My son got crown blood. Henry Costa Jr. Got crown men. Crown Pele, Congo men. <laughs> Italian and all. The man got Pele. He got Pogu, Pogu, Portuguese from my father's side. He got Italian from your man's side, born in America. Yeah, the mega parent things are you. You know? So, so, so that's the issue. So, to my crown brother, then, my Dodi, then, what they call Dodi. Joe, you're not lay off. Yeah, man, they say crying, though. Man, they say, though. 
She went in the studio the other day crying. Her Sami was so nice. Sami was so nice to Jawia. He used to put, he used to put Jawia in a level. See, the other day I was listening to Salinsa. Salinsa won't ask for Gale show. Hey. My man asked for Gale, I wanted to cry, man, who does not support we are. That one, that, that, yeah, yeah. I know plenty of people. Pass, 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 pass. Sister Evangeline Mamita, uh, 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 Major uh, uh, Dia Festa Zion. I know plenty of crown, crown people who don't support Joe. We are plenty. But the majority support Joe. We are. And you don't need to talk to other people. Because the way, you know, you don't want to take a whole county and say they can't say uh, that, that Joe. We are counted. Grand Jesus does not belong to Joe. We are. You don't do it that way. Because they either go in three years, Grand Jeter will remain. The people of Grand Jeter, the community in America, well, they're the most united community. That one, I'll tell you this. Boaka, the most united community of Liberians in the United States, that the Grand, that the Grand Jeter community. Mm. They can raise money more than any other community. They show solidarity and support more than any other community. Don't play with the Grand Jeter people. I don't know if you saw when Grand Jeter people say the person died, the other day they went for a funeral in Phoenix, Arizona. One of their daughters died. Yeah, yeah. young lady, tragic story. Hmm. Amelia, I didn't know her. Amelia Myers, I mean Gallo Myers. I think that was her name. Amelia got, yeah, sorry for story. She had just left Philadelphia when she came to bury her father. Soon she got home. A few days later she died. Okay. But guess yeah. what? Man, I saw that late, that video. Somebody sent me the video. I watched a little bit of it. Where they went for a funeral. The people were giving money. The different, different crime groups, associations, you know, from different, different states. See the envelope. One group will say, we get 20,000, uh, 7,000 US. I said, Laverne, Laverne now. Wow. My man, I tell you, they're not fun. And they're not pledges. Oh. The money they are already raised. People gave him. The crown people. But let me tell you about them now. All their people there for their organization, the Grand Jet Association, all that money they can raise. The people they can put there at present, they can just eat it. They the, 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 the corrupt. <laughs> I will tell my own people this. I said, but the crown people are my own people for ever, ever. We got born, lifelong born. As long as Pedro, Pedro Jr. is alive, we got, I got, I got born with you. I say, the thing is, the thing is serious. Very, very serious, yeah? Very, very serious. All the, all the money they can raise, all the money they can raise, their president then for the social shock and just TV. I don't know why. I don't know why. My man, the scandal in the community, in the leadership, not easy. So these people go to a convention. My man, the best convention in the United States, in the whole Liberian community, that the Grand Jeter Association Convention. What can? Yeah. When those people say they enter your city, eh? mm. the crown people, when they enter your city for their convention picking, the whole city can be boring. <laughs> the hotels can be booked. Car rental businesses can make money. They can buy liquor. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, so it's wrong. My man, they can look. They are very united. Say what you may about crown people, but they are very united. Then they can raise money. No other community in Liberia can raise money equal to the crown people. But by the time they raise the money, they, they, then the road they can eat it. Soon they raise the money, they can give it to the road. I know. And like the only thing the crown people buy along the way, the bar, the bar, bar leaders. <laughs> oh, the leaders. Hey, man, big brother, ask my God, man. You know the thing I'm talking, man. All that money y'all can raise. That who, that who, that who, that who can, that who can, that who can eat it. They can, the people can eat it. My man, the people can raise money. When the people go to the convention, when they finish raising money, they say one convention, they raise 100,000. 75,000. You as well. But soon they made the other man president. Look at the other guy, Frank William. Frank William ran for president of the Grand Jet Association for many, many, many times he, he ran. The guy, he was he not win. He every election the guy was wrong. Every election the guy was wrong. They will make the guy president. What guy? You know what I bought it? 
Mm. That boy just are playing in the people's money. They remove him disgracefully. That one, Allah. I had the documents. The men go into the people account and tell the poor money to use it to go for vacation. Eh? Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll go me. They say, I'm not call me. I'll go me. <laughs> Look, now I'll tell you the truth. But when I, I was in the community, I'm married into the community, I know what I'm talking. Look, the thing they had me, then before then they had uh, 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 Boo, Boo Yonle was chairman of the board. Boo Yonle, they, they used to give me the information, I mean, the bank statement, boy. the bank statement. See the man withdrawing money to buy plane ticket to go to Las Vegas and pay for hotels in Las Vegas. So, what did Grand Jury Association now go do to Las Vegas? What did the president of the Grand Jury Association and his wife, what did they go do to hotel in Vegas with the crime people money? Money what they sort of send to Grand Jury to help support good initiatives. You see? So, <laughs> yeah. All of them. Michael, Michael Gilman, in weeks, Kwame weeks, the one in Liberia, they were running the other thing there. All of them were seeing the crime pool, the crime pool money. The people can raise money. And say they say they can raise money. They are very united. They are very nice people. But their leader man can steal. <laughs> ah, yeah, so 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 the, the so the, the, the thing about it is I just want to say this to my in-laws. Because y'all will forever be my in-laws then. Joey I ain't Leo. He does not. Grand Jire does not owe we are anything. It is we are who owes Grand Jire for everything Grand Jire has done for George Weah. The time has come for you to lead the men. The man is a disgrace. He is an embarrassment to the country. And he will be out of office in three years. That's not the kind of person you want to tie yourself to. You don't want to tie yourself to the man. The man going. Boy, the man is going. So you don't tie yourself to George Weah. Y'all let it make care each other on our side. 2023 will be the man and will put a better president in the mansion. President that will be for everybody. All of Liberia, including Grand Jire, which is part of Liberia. So that my advice to y'all. Y'all lead the ball. Let it care each other. All right, folks. This brings us to an end of today's edition of the Costa Show. Now, boy, okay, play that song before we go. My man Fred Boy I'm going to go right on Facebook today. Yeah, he can't go right. He, Fred, Fred Boy, I dare you. You read anything on Facebook, I will publish all the documents that your people then send me. When you were taking the people's money from the account to go for vacation. What did you and your wife want to go to the Vegas with the people's money, with the Grand Jury Association money? I dare you to open your mouth, Fred Boy. I dare you. They messed over 30,000 US from the people, boy. Over 30,000 US of the Grand Jury Association money. Fred Boy. You open your mouth today. I will go on Facebook. I will publish all the documents. But play, play that song. Bang bang me. Yeah. Just we are bang bang the Grand Jire people. <laughs> all right, folks. Uh, have yourselves a wonderful, blessed weekend. This is how I would like to bring it to an end. I'm Henrik Pedro Costa. Boaca is in Monrovia, our studio. God bless you all. That's my favorite Liberian song right now. Bang bang me. Just we are bang bang seditions. Yeah. All right. But we. We cannot be pang pang by Jawia. No, no way, no way. Jawia, if you don't want to be insulted, do the right thing. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. All right. God, God bless you all. Bye bye. Ah man. <laughs>